Hello everybody, um, today I figured I would just read a little bit of Bukowski out to ya. Um, I've been reading a few different books, and as you know, or maybe you don't, but last month I did a buddy read of You Get So Alone Sometimes and It Just Makes Sense with the book Clectic, and this is 85... Me. Uh, 86. So this is from 1986. This is a good book. Um, I, as you can see, I, I'm using flags now. Um, because I'm, I'm a hip and cool booktuber who uses flags. And look, they just fall back. I could just put this right in the bookcase like that. It's amazing. Technology. I wanted to read to you a poem on page 70 of the Echo Edition. It's probably on the same page of the Black Sparrow Edition. Um, but it's called Rift. Um, I can't live with you anymore, she said. Look at you. Huh? I asked. Look at you, sitting in that goddamn chair. Your belly is sticking out of your underwear. You've burnt cigarette holes in all your shirts. All you do is suck on that goddamn beer. Bottle after bottle, what do you get out of that? The damage has been done, I told her. What are you talking about? Nothing matters, and we know nothing matters. And that matters. You're drunk. Come on, baby, let's get along. It's easy. Not for me, she screamed. Not for me. She ran into the bathroom to put her makeup on. I got up for another beer. I sat back down and just had the new bottle to my mouth when she came out of the bathroom. Holy shit, she screamed. You're disgusting. I laughed right into the bottle, gagged, spit a mouthful of beer across my undershirt. <laughs> my God, she said. Um... <laughs> There were two ground squirrels fighting on the steps, and um, in their fight, they jumped up on the screen and crawled up on the screen. So, that was interesting. I've never seen the bottom of a ground squirrel before. That was kind of cool. Um, she slammed the door and was gone. I looked at the closed door and, and at the doorknob, and strangely, I didn't feel alone. Now, um, that is a, a really good example of you're reading a poem about a guy who is obviously quite uncouth, let's say. Um, he doesn't seem to have a lot of good qualities. There doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of reason why we would feel sympathy for him. Um, even though he has a screaming girlfriend yelling at him. So some might say like, oh, well, you could relate to that if you've ever been in a relationship where you had a girl screaming at you. All this stuff, like the him being disgusting, the whole thing, um, her screaming at him. And then in that last bit, he becomes not a gross monster, but just human with human needs. It's It just, it hits you. So it's like... She slammed the door and was gone, and I looked at the closed door and at the doorknob, and strangely, I didn't feel alone. So, even though he was now physically alone, he didn't feel alone anymore. It sounds stupid to, like, talk about it like that, but, um, that always 
like, has hit me. Being alone and having... Whoa! I know, Fred. They're trying to attack us. They're trying to get in. <sighs> Apparently, the ground squirrels like Bukowski, too. Um, but I'm going to stop this right now and see if I can see what's going on.